The needle cricothyroidotomy is performed and cannot intubate, cannot ventilate scenarios in children under 8 years of age or children weighing less than 20 kilograms. It is important to correctly identify the cricothyroid membrane. Palpate the thyroid cartilage and slide the finger cordially until a small depression is felt. Note that the anatomy may be more difficult to identify in small children. Seek expert help early on if you are unsure of the anatomy or the technique. Equipment you will require for the needle cricothyroidotomy. Nasal prongs for passive oxygen delivery during the procedure. Cleaning materials and sterile gloves. An oxygen source. Oxygen tubing with a small hole cut into the side of the tubing. A 5 mm syringe attached to the oxygen tubing. Large bore IV cannulae. A green 18 gauge cannula for children under 5 kilograms. A grey 16 gauge cannula for children 5 to 10 kilograms. And a orange 14 gauge cannula for children 10 to 20 kilograms and some tape to secure. Technique for the needle cricothyroidotomy. Continue to oxygenate the patient either with bag valve mask ventilation or by applying nasal prong oxygen for passive oxygenation. Clean the neck as for any sterile procedure. Apply local anesthetic if time permits. Identify the anatomy by palpating the thyroid cartilage and sliding the finger down until a small depression is felt. Stabilize the thyroid cartilage between the thumb and middle finger of the non-dominant hand using the index finger to palpate the membrane. Taking the over-the-needle cannula attached to a small 5 mm syringe, puncture the skin over the membrane, aspirate to ensure that you are in the trachea and gently advance the cannula over the needle as far as it will go. Remove the needle. Now attach your 5 mm syringe that's attached to oxygen tubing, which is attached to an oxygen source. Attach it to your IV cannula. Secure the IV cannula with your fingers. Now you can ventilate the patient by occluding the hole on the side of the oxygen tubing for one second and allowing passive exhalation for four seconds. Occluding for one second and opening for one, two, three, four seconds. One can continue to ventilate the patient in this manner for up to 30 minutes, but a surgical airway should be placed as soon as possible. Some tape could be used to secure the cannula to the skin.